Hi everybody, this is my first blog since um, after my Grand Prix and I'm sorry it's taking me so long to do it, but I've um, been a bit sick so in the last few days you wouldn't probably have understood anything I had to say so I thought I'd wait so I actually could talk to you. Uh, so this is why it's been so late. Um, got a flu the night before the Grand Prix which was pretty nasty to say the least and um, got through the test but um, wasn't perhaps the best that I could ride after watching the video. I'm not great at watching myself on videos. So I'm going to have to do that a bit more um, as I think that it would be more beneficial to do so more often. But i um, super happy with the canter. Let's talk about positives first. So I'm super happy with that. Um, super good changes. I like the frame. The extended canter change was really good. Happy with all that. Canter strike off was good because he has a big canter. Sometimes that can be a little bit complicated. But um, in the Grand Prix, it went really well. So happy with that. What I did not ride well was my trot tour with the frame to open and up and um, made him look quite disconnected. That's entirely my fault and not his. And um, I think I came into the test a little bit stressed with all the rain and then also having to wait and pause and wait and pause and wait and go to go back into the main arena. Um, I took off pretty quickly down to the arena after the rain from the indoor, which is a little bit of a distance. So I sort of gave gas to get to the gate and then they say, no, wait, now go. And so I think I went in there a little bit too rushed. Um, I should have taken a bit of a breath and went again because uh, it wasn't until the walk that I finally started to ride like myself. Um, thankfully, I have a very understanding pony who dealt with it very well, um, who really loved it in there. So I was really happy. And then I took every moment I could to come out of that arena and soak up the Olympic vibe because it's pretty cool. I have to say, with seeing all those people, like 22,000 people, what do you get a chance to be in an audience like that? So that was pretty phenomenal, to say the least, and an amazing experience. And to see all the Aussie flags and all the little Aussie contingents who I tried to wave to every one of them. So hopefully um, I did. And if I didn't, sorry. Uh, so that was really, really cool. And I think we did a really good job as a team. Uh, we got the highest average, I think, average score between Mary, Christy and myself that the Australian team's ever gotten at the Olympics. And so I think that's pretty impressive. Um, maybe we didn't finish where we wanted to, but it's by no means a reflection of the quality of the riding of the horses. It's more of a reflection of the improvement in the sport and how difficult it is going to be in the next few years to grow upwards and, and get the scores we need. Like there was, I think, over 30 scores above 70. And that's pretty phenomenal, to say the least. Uh, so I think that's great for the sport. It just means we need to work a little bit harder, which is fine because I've got a young one. So I'm really happy with that because this was only his um, seventh, I think his seventh or eighth Grand Prix. And he's uh, sixth internationally. So this is very early days for my middle man who only began Grand Prix in, uh, at a small show in Germany on the 13th of March. So I've got to keep it in perspective, this is early days and I know I can do a lot with this horse. I'm really excited now so I can start um, training on things that I've been lacking a little bit. I haven't ridden now in, I think for, since the Grand Prix and it's driving me a little bit nuts already sitting here watching everybody else. Uh, but I'm staying calm and keeping my focus on the hubs, um, so that's good. Patrick did a super special the other day, a couple of little mistakes in the changes but the quality of the trot tour and Pierre Passage was phenomenal. And after watching him ride this morning, I think he's really in for a good ride tomorrow. It was pretty exciting to watch with the frame and having him so open and up in front and really, really light in the hand. So I'm really excited about that. He's worked really hard and Scanic's a really cool horse. So I think tomorrow will be very exciting to say the least, not just for Patrick, but um, also for everybody else involved. It's going to be a sellout crowd. It's going to be pretty nuts um, when Charlotte left the arena. Uh, in the special, the crowd was banging their feet on the floor and I can tell you the whole stadium felt like it was going to fall down. So I think we're in for one hell of an entertaining day tomorrow, to say the least. Uh, I think it'll be a battle between um, Charlotte, Adelinda, um, Damon Hill and, uh, of course, Helen. And then also I think uh, Carl's up there with a chance because it's Carl, he's entertaining. And then, um, and he can seriously ride. And also, um, yeah, no, so I'd like to say give the hubby a chance, you never know. So go hubs, you've got to be in it to win it. Um, so then no, that's what I think but there's going to be really good quality 15 field um, with some really exciting people in there so it should be fun to watch what else can I tell you um, I talked about my pins earlier on so I thought I'd show you I've given a few away to people down along the road because they were really sweet but this has been my effort if you can see it so this has been pretty cool I tried originally to get ones from people that weren't equestrians so this one was from a French basketball player who was a very cool dude. Um, who else have I got from 
a wrestler gave me this one. Uh, the, that's from a service worker that was there. And also, where am I? This one, which I'm the only, I think, only dressage person to have. So pretty cool. Then the rest are all from horsey people. I've tried to take photos of every well, most people that I've swapped with because I thought that was a pretty cool to remember the experience. Um, and then I've got Patrick's as well, which I hope he doesn't kill me for stealing right now, which I'm going to get from under my leg. But this is why Patrick's is cool. So Patrick has a ducky. And this ducky was given to him by Tina, his other team member, who's also going in the final tomorrow. And they said he gave him this duck because he said he's always like a little rubber ducky. You can push him down, but he always pops back up again. So I think that was a really sweet present to give him so it's around his neck and he can squeeze it whenever he wants. So I tell you, there's some really cool people in this sport and um, she's one of them. So that's really, really nice gift. So that's where we're at. Um, I will leave you, but um, thanks everyone for watching all the blogs. It's been really, really sweet of you. I had hoped to do a few more, but um, my cold has resulted in that not occurring, so I'm really sorry. But you've seen everything else. I've seen Ricky and Roger have been doing some awesome efforts by video blog too. So that seems to be a good way to communicate these days, so I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, so really happy. Thanks for all the support. Um, we've been a great team that's coped as best as we can under the circumstances that have surrounded us throughout the whole thing. There's no one doesn't know sadly um i think we've handled it with poise and professionalism and gotten on with the job as best we can and that's i think a great thing under these circumstances um we were that a team a unified team that worked really hard and i think that was a great thing and we got a lot of respect for that um, which i can tell you is a pretty cool thing to have from the people that we're getting it from so thanks everybody uh, enjoy the final tomorrow night and or tomorrow over here and i talk to you in person eventually if you ever run into me come say hi love to have a chat um otherwise enjoy the rest of the show and thanks for following my blogs bye